going to accept the old definitions. They have new speak. It's whatever right. they words mean, whatever they want them to mean. That's it. Science is yeah. They what do we want. It they've to got mean? no rational logic to support the understanding that they use to define things by. Like it's all just willy nilly and like feeling based, and there's there's nothing of substantial support to back up the the the, the connotation the connotative uh, uh, definements that they've changed to. Always got to go back to the original denotative definitions because uh, you're right, Cincy. They, uh, they skew things in such a way to fit the narrative in the, you know, on their behalf. Yeah, I have a definition of horizontal from an old uh, an old book, and it says uh, flat in regards to a baseline and such. And you you won't find that definition on any uh, modern websites about you know like Merriam-Webster or collegiate any anything like that. It's it's all changed to not have um, <laughs> not have as much of the actual definition in it anymore. Yep. Yep, it's this falls back to consensus, <clears throat> and that's that's literally what science is today. It's it's just a big echo chamber of consensus. No need for fact as long as the majority rules. It's like complete opposite of what science is supposed to be. <laughs> Don't you find it strange, though, you call two physics departments at two major universities and the person on the phone that answers the phone for the physics department has no clue what a Cavendish experiment even is. And then when asked around, no one has a clue that they've, they've never seen one. They don't think they have one on their university sites. Like, you know, it's like something in in the past right like you think, you think that didn't the instructors all hang out in some like physics instructor lounge and the secretary asks around and a bunch of guys are drinking coffee and smoking cigars going yeah i, I can answer that question for you no all a bunch of, they got the janitor they got the secretary answering the phone yeah i'm not talking about heads. the janitor nobody there the knows anything about it because they're not physicists Zanuck, why do you that? always just make stuff up dude yeah, you're no just go ask up, who these dude. people are who answered the phone yeah i did these are the what was he? Are, uh, if you would I'll listen, call his in. ass live with you right now. Uh, okay, call him. What's his Find name? out where Blue's Cavendish. What's his name? Oh, give me the phone number. I'll call him right now. Call whoever you want. You no, know. I'll call the guy you call, and I'm going to talk oh. to him like with with, with an intelligence, with an intelligence foundation. I will call him and ask him the about an intelligence foundation. Of hey, we've been having a wonderful conversation with Zanuck. Just please, Zanuck, please see yourself out of the yeah, conversation. Yeah, Zanuck, go away. Go call. Find out where Blue is. I'll call him right now. Why do you need the phone? That, do you have the internet, that sir? That sounds scary. No, I want to ask. I want to call the same person you called. I, see, I'm doing an experiment here. Keeping things. Do your own experiment. Experiment variable. Hold on. Controlling my control variables. And I'm just going to so basically stupid, do what you bro. did to see if we can replicate your experiment. You called somebody, thought they didn't know what it was. I contend my hypothesis is they don't know shit about shit. And I'm going to find out and prove to you that that person is not a physicist. Go ahead. What's Good luck. Problem? University of Tennessee, Astro Astronomy and Physics Department. I've posted it here several times. You can look it up. I'm driving. Okay, I, I don't. I don't want to fight with you, but I thought maybe you had it handy, and I could just call the University of Tennessee. I, I heard astronomy. You, I heard you the third department. time, just in case okay. you didn't. Yep. No, I, I thank you, but I, I just want to call the same number, talk to the same person. Let us know how it works out. So thanks Cavendish. for talking to me. Cavendish to on their university like, site. Okay. When we talk at the same time, we usually can't hear each other. Yes. Yeah, so shut up. Cavendish just, on their I site. Yeah, so shut up. Are you Cavendish. listening to yourself, Dave? Dave. Yeah, are on. you listening? You don't I seem am. to understand what you're even trying to do. Cavendish, a physical Cavendish experiment on the University of Tennessee's site. Blue Marble put one there. Good luck.
Okay. I'm curious and I'm going to call. Uh, I thought maybe you had the number because I thought that'd be a good way to talk to the same person you did so I could find out what they said and who they are. But that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll plug around. They University didn't know shit. Why would you want to talk to them? This is what's so funny. This is what's so funny. Because this I, is just I, I, a fact. I want to get the no, Jay, you shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. This is a fact, okay? Universities do not have their students do Cavendish any more. They don't. It's a fact. That is a fact. So you can sit on here and pretend they do and then not say anything of value, not support the claim that they do. They don't. The Cavendish is incredibly inconsistent. If you had to require your students to get the gravity result predicted, they would all fail. They took them out of universities when it comes to lab or, or to students doing it. They also don't have them up for display in universities anymore. They took them out of the university. But anti-flat earthers claim it works every single time. It predicts the gravity prediction every time. Blah, 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 blah. So that's the fact, okay? Now, you guys want to drown the conversation in all kinds of bullshit and sophistry, but no one cares. Either you guys can admit you just say bullshit on repeat like a script over and over and over because you're in a cult and one said it always matches, so you must all say that, and that's not actually true, or you can just stop talking about it. If you're not going to be honest and admit that you lie when you say that, this is a futile conversation. You're not better than us. You're not superior to us. You're not teaching us. You're wasting our time. It's very aggravating. Thank How you. do you possibly know this, Woodson? They don't do it. Why do you say they don't do it, though? Maybe you should listen to the words I said. Maybe you should listen to what I said. No more today. baby talk, Woodson. No more baby talk. No, they don't I, actually. I okay, definitely send do me, because send I posted a, a video of one doing one. Down right? with it. I definitely send posted a video a modern of somebody university. actually doing one, correct? Why, do you t- why are you a grown man talk like a little girl? So I just ex- I just exposed you in the chat, and now here you are in the VC going to make me repeat everything I said in the chat. So let's see. Can you still man what my rebuttal to your claim was in the chat? Still man it. Uh, no, because they do labs in other places than an actual laboratory. That's how in a university Still somebody is told, That's how it. in a university when somebody is told to go out and do a lab, they don't have to go to a laboratory. That's frequently done in higher education. I'm sorry you don't have any experience there. Yeah, except I had a full ride to a school that probably wouldn't even accept you. So you this is what's so funny. You, this you is didn't what, I, yeah. do it, did you? You didn't do it. No, I played football. I wasn't lame like you. I had a bunch of girls I was talking to that you don't know anything about. But here, here's the here's the reality. Okay, no, so, so you, you got if you got you got girls is football, better than science. Football that girls wasn't is better than science here with 2023. Sorry. Okay, if you are you guys gonna just constantly interrupt? So it's so funny. All of a sudden, he's a victim. He he personally insults me, and then I respond with why I ended up dropping out of college it was because I was just playing football and talking to girls and didn't go to class. That doesn't mean he has some intellectual superiority over me. That's retarded. You're retarded. So here's the reality. Here's the reality. I, it's in an empty classroom room, LOL. And then you said, it's an effing lab. That was your response. I said, yes, it is. I stand by that because when you send students out to do a lab in higher education, you don't send them directly to a clean room with white coat laboratory. Because oh in higher God. education, oh well, when a lab is performed, it's not done. So in you're just going to interrupt me and lab just coat. keep talking? It's done in fucking classrooms because that's what you have available. Dude, can you shut the hell up, dude? This, this is what happens. He knows I'm about to expose the whole conversation and recap it. So he has to censor me. This is what the Globers do. Okay, so I said, ha, ha, ha. That's an empty classroom because the actual context of the conversation is they do not have students do the Cavendish anymore because the results are not consistent and it's very hard to get the predicted value if ever. Okay. That's the actual point on the table. Now he says, oh, here it is. In, here it is in the university. Here's, here's one person by themselves in an empty classroom doing the Cavendish for a minute. Hey, a, stop interrupting me. Right, a student, not a teacher, but a student. A a minute long video with the comments turned off that doesn't control for electrostatics, doesn't show you the predicted value, doesn't show you them replicating it, doesn't show you the actual results. And somehow, one person in an empty classroom that doesn't even show that it matches the predicted result 
verifies that universities now require their students to do Cavendish and that they actually get cons- get consistent results. One video from two years ago with 12,000 views with the comments turned off, that's one minute long, without any of the predicted values even public. Wow, you destroyed me. Wow. Yeah, but they don't just, really just, uh, in universities, don't they, with it? Uh, no, they, they don't. Have yeah, they definitely students. do perform it in universities, with it. They don't have their students do the Cavendish to That's demonstrate. That's a student in the video. That's a student right in the fucking video. I think that you're actually stupid. That's what I think. Okay, because if you're not well, able that's to a comprehend- brilliant counter argument, well, it's it. No, Fuck it's you. not a counter. No, my argument's yeah, already uh, destroyed he's you. Stupid. That's the reason why he's wrong. Fuck you, it's it. Fuck no, you. No, no, that's- that's- a, a paper from 2017 where undergrads were were, were, were conducting the experiment. Well, that's crazy. Why'd you have to go back six years? Can you show me something right now? Can you show me something right now? Keep moving those goalposts, what's it? Keep okay. moving them. Uh, I'm sorry that yeah, you they don't, don't comprehend do it English Clearly. language, but I said they. I of said they, they don't. don't do it. I said Fuck they don't lying do it. Lying asshole. Said, okay, you're. Do, why are you interrupting? So why are they you don't, lying? They don't do it anymore. Then you found one paper in 2017, and what's so funny is I'll call that university to expose you guys, but then you'll just pretend this conversation never happened. I searched I'll for 30 seconds, with it, and I found one paper from 2017. Me, dude. How many what more do I have to what, find? How are you guys grown-ass... How many more do you need? You're grown-ass old men on the internet that can't control yourselves. What's the that, magic number, with it? The magic number is you're 60, but still impulsively, emotionally interrupting like a five-year-old. No, I po- I posted a paper to answer your question. Now you're moving the goalpost. What's the goalpost? It has to be in the last two years. Well, if you would shut the hell up and let me respond instead of pretending that somehow if you interrupt you me, it makes you- dude, I was four words in and you interrupted me. So the reality is, I said that they don't do them anymore. It's because the Cavendish is extremely inconsistent. But you religious low IQ zealots pretend that it's very consistent. Low IQ and they're yes. old. <laughs> yes, they are. Dude, they are. These are grown all. men. These are grown men that claim flat Earth is stupid, and they clock into work every day to come talk about it. To come talk about it all day, every day. What are you doing? You're here. I, I don't I'm think flat Earth is stupid. I think that I think children your are and, okay. And so inability this, to understand this basic is the problem. Oh, bro. oh then hey, you, shut up. Exactly. When I'm on my phone and there's no other mods in you, I'm getting pissed. I'm getting pissed off. Because now all the anti flat earthers, they like, oh, we're getting away with interruptions right now. So they're all going to keep doing it. They're dude, all going to keep interrupting. A, dude, we can't talk. All right, I'm going to my computer and I'm muting everyone that keeps interrupting. Well, no, you're just not, you're not stopping. No, you're just a <laughs> child. Manning, shouldn't you be calling the University of Tennessee right now? Oh, yeah, you're right. All right. Why do I have to mod my own conversation? I didn't interrupt them, but they can just incessantly interrupt me 5v1. That, that's legit. Just a bunch of kids. Yeah, I'm in the well, middle of working, and I'm on mobile, so it takes, like, by the time I get to the mute button for somebody, they've already stopped talking. Wait, then the next person no, comes in. You know. The only they're globus emotionally attached to their childhood, so, you know. Yeah, let's not talk about kids. them. The, only, the point of the conversation that it's not used currently, they're bringing up sources from, from six, seven years ago, whatever. We want one you know, uh, a university that we could maybe talk to or go visit now that's using the Cavendish uh, or at least hear their output on it. Because when I called the universities um, four or five years ago, these are universities that had used the Cavendish in the past, but said that they don't use them anymore because they're so inconsistent. Now, when I call my local university, which is a huge university, has a big physics department, um, and also University of Tennessee, where a, a local, one of our own, Blue Marble, said he put a Cavendish experiment in. I'm not saying it's working. I'm just saying they have it on display. No one knows anything about it. Like, they don't know where that is. They have no idea who Blue is. Nothing. Strange, man. And then we make a point that it's not being used now in universities. And these two guys bring up. Uh, we researched it and brought it up, you know, in 30 seconds off of Google from six years ago, which had nothing to do. We didn't say they didn't use it six years ago. We yeah, said they're not ago. using it now. Yeah, two years ago in my case. Okay, two years ago. So now, today, wh- who's using it? Is that uh, same year? is post-pandemic, so, I mean, that's pretty good. 
Okay, that's cool. Who is that university? University of Michigan. You posted it? I mean, we can call them and talk to them about the Cavendish because it is interesting, right? I mean, if you really want to call up a university for Why wouldn't I? internet argument, you can Why wouldn't that. I gain knowledge? I go to seminars. I, go, I talk to university uh, department heads. Why wouldn't I want to gain knowledge? It would be strange not to want to do that if you're interested in that subject. <laughs> right? I mean, I'm going to visit the University of Tennessee in a, a couple of weeks because I have a niece and a nephew that might be attending the University of Tennessee. I have two kids that have master's degrees from university in Tennessee. Hello? You act like we're in a dungeon somewhere or in our mom's basement is your script when actually y'all seem to be, right? Like. It's strange. Yeah, I've, I've actually seen just two globals yet on camera. All, 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 all others are just keep on hiding most okay. of the time. All right, here we go. We're at the computer, so. What does a camera change about a person's argument? Okay. Oh, because it would expose a, a lot about, uh, you know, who, who they are. You know, it would, would give, it a, give these typical people a face. I would really want to know how Zanik look, looks like you know, when he's going on to his rants. Okay, so no look, there's a... We all know what Zanuck looks like. He was on American Gladiators. It's on his YouTube channel. He's all over the place. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah, I'm at my computer so, too, so I can help mod. Okay, cool. I just want to point out, the reason that I say this, I don't just make this up, is I've read multiple papers that explain specifically that they stopped using the Cavendish in their classes because of the inconsistency of outcomes. Okay, so I'm going to go find the papers because I know that's all you're going to say is, where's it at? You won't just look it up yourself, right? And that's why I say that. So then if, you're, if you can find curriculum for a modern university that is currently still implementing Cavendish as part of their curriculum that the students must do the Cavendish and get the result and that they are showing predicted values of gravity, then feel free to cite them. Okay, showing me some weird video with an empty classroom where it's one minute long and no one even specifies the results or that it matches the gravity predictions. It's literally one minute long. It do that doesn't mean anything. I'm not claiming that there's literally not some little Cavendish device in any university in the world. That's ridiculous. I never claimed that. I said that they no longer have their students do it almost across the board. Okay? And it's because of inconsistency of outcome, and I've actually seen papers specifically written from universities about it. Yeah. So it's like over time, they just kind of stopped using it because it just doesn't really give the results, and it just sort of is a, <clears throat> for, lack yeah, of better, yeah. for lack of a better term, more of a parlor trick than an actual real experiment that they can... It's just too hard. Right? They can consistently show students and actually have it be relevant. Here's Pretty a much student, yeah. student using one, though. See, no one said they've right. never used them in a in school yeah, yeah. classroom. I called two universities that, that they did use it as their curriculum, even. But the department head that I talked to at each of those two schools, and I, I can find out, that was like four or five years ago, that they both almost word for word said they stopped using it because they would have to fail all their students in this subject matter because it never worked right. Like they, they had to do so many adjustments or, or things would go wrong so many times. Like they would have to fail all their students. That's why they took it out. Not that they didn't it use it or didn't try. It's just, it w was impossible to, to use in the curriculum because it was so hard to get right. You thought you were talking to the department of the head or the head what of the department, but you're there? talking to a janitor really, according to Xanax. Yeah, yeah. Saying, they can just make stuff up. They just make stuff up. It's yeah, like I, you can scoff if you want, but there's definitely a student here using one. A student in an empty classroom using it. Yeah, for what? In the curriculum or out of the curriculum? Like as a like, is he doing his dissertation on it? Do you know? Dude, he doesn't anything say anything. He doesn't. It? Dude, it doesn't say anything. It's one minute long. It doesn't even show you the results. It doesn't show you the prediction. It doesn't. Do the I comments are turned off. Than a student attending the university is performing the Cavendish experiment in the university. Maybe he's proving it wrong. Maybe he's doing it to prove that it doesn't work. How do you know? You don't know anything about it. I apparently know more than you because it's a she. What the fuck, dude? Oh my well, God, I so irrelevant. I that maybe she is showing 
that the Cavendish doesn't work. She doesn't say anything. He knows nothing about it. He just he he just like, found he just scoured the internet to find some video of someone at a university with the Cavendish. And this is not the actual classroom being said, look, chapter seven, we're gonna cover gravity. Go do the Cavendish. Okay? Because it has an incredibly inconsistent outcome. This is a fact. You guys pretend that it always has the predicted outcome. That is why the conversation is relevant. Now, you don't guys want to talk about the actual point, right? The actual point being made. You want to talk about anything in the world other than that. You want to twist what actually I'm saying and straw man it, that there's not one single Cavendish device in any university in the world that a student has access to. Universities don't do it anymore later. That claim will resurface for no fucking reason. Well, University of Tennessee I'll, uses I'll, it. I'll go, I'll go and have my the rest of my day. Well, you, you enjoy that gaslighting. Keep okay, going. talk to you later, buddy. Hey, nice talking to you. Thanks for the post of the, the girl in the classroom by herself. That was what was said from the beginning, by the way. Nothing to do with gaslighting. Literally, from the very beginning, the point being made is you guys on the internet pretend that Cavendish works every time and it matches the predicted value consistently. But in reality, they actually stopped having students do them in universities because the very opposite is true. How is that gaslighting anyway? Like, really? Yeah. I mean, hey, I'm, I'm really, hey, I'm really close to the University of Tennessee. Do you guys want me to reach out to somebody? I'm yes. Okay. I'm working today, but give me a day or two, and I'll see what I can come up with. Sounds like, sounds like Rocky is wanting to validate that Blue really does have his uh, – No. I, actually, I believe him. I want to go see it. Like, I'm going I'm, – I'm scheduling a tour, right? I'm bringing – there's going to be 12 or 15 of us. When we go to our condo in a couple of weeks, we're going to the University of Tennessee again. Like, this isn't the first time I've ever been on their campus. I've never been there for a football game or whatever. I've only been there for visits and to tour their camp. It's beautiful, right? And they have a huge, um, like, astronomy, uh, astronomy and physics department. And one of my nephews is trying to get into there. So we're going to visit there. Are, are, you, well, are you saying? Team. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Are you saying UT Tech, like UT Texas, or UT Tennessee? No, Tennessee. That's where Blue lived. Blue said he put his Cavendish in. Well, hey, He's, look me up. You're up here. I live in Knoxville, so look me up. Look me up. I sure my, will. Yeah, I'll, I'll look up. I'll, I'll, hook up first, I'll, I'll, I'll hook up with you. Nice. Your first mistake was uh, believing Blue. That was your first mistake. Um, why, maybe. why would you believe anything that? comes out of his mouth yeah i mean I, i've definitely personally have caught him in some things you know that he's he's he says that he's what he causes is that he puts little eggshells out there i think he calls it eggshells whatever like that aren't true to see if we're smart enough to find them when we catch him lying <laughs> that's hilarious right because me and bev and that group have caught him outright lying like showed him where he lied and he goes, yeah, I just put those little nuggets in there to see if y'all are smart enough to find them. I mean, uh, come on, man. Wow. Yeah, That's wow. Good. <laughs> He's admitted Fred. that. So when I went to him the other day, I said, look, I've called the astronomy and uh, physics department. They don't know anything about a Cavendish. They don't know anything about your Cavendish. They, they can't, you know, what's the deal? He goes, it's because you're searching in the wrong department. I said, what department is it? He says, wouldn't you like to know? And then started all his BS. I'm not going to be docs and all that. When he's already made a video, right? It has nothing to do with docs. And I'm not using his name. I just want to go see his Cavendish. So then he tells me it's in the astrology department, not the astronomy. So I called University of Tennessee back. Can I have the number to your astrology department? We don't have an astrology department. <laughs> they don't even have one. Yeah, it sounds like he's lying. Yeah, he's made a video walking through their doors at the University of Tennessee, going up and down an elevator and setting his cabinet up. So, I mean, I do believe it. I mean, I, I'm not even trying to go in there and make a make a mockery of it. I'm trying to go see it. Are I mean, you my, telling me that you actually caught a, a anti-flat earther lying? No way. So when I went to him the other day, I said, look, I've called the astronomy and uh, physics department. They don't know anything about a Cavendish. They don't know anything about your Cavendish. 
they they can't you know what's the deal he goes it's because you're searching in the wrong department i said what department is it he says wouldn't you like to know and then started all his bs i'm not going to be docs and all that when he's already made a video right it has nothing to do with docs and i'm not using his name i just want to go see his cabinets so then he tells me it's in the astrology department not the astronomy so i called university of tennessee back well, can i have the number to your astrology department we don't have an astrology department. <laughs> they don't even have one. Yeah, it sounds like he's lying. Yeah. He's made a video walking through their doors at the University of Tennessee, going up and down an elevator and setting his cabinet up. So, I mean, I do believe it. I mean, I, I'm not even trying to go in there and make a, make a mockery of it. I'm trying to go see it. Are you Mine, telling me that you actually caught a, a anti flat earther lying? No way. Yeah, not. I mean, I haven't caught him lying about this. Maybe it's in there. They just. I'm not talking to the right department, but he's surely not proud of just say no. It's in the department of this. Here's the number. Yeah, he says here's the number to the police station. He gives me the University of Tennessee police station. Like you know, it's just weird, man. Like I'm doing something wrong by going to visit the University of Tennessee. Yo, you know what's so funny, dude, is um, I was I was explaining that you can use a kinematic equation to get little g or downward acceleration. You don't need like gravity, uh, and you use uh, the initial height and the initial velocity with the time, and you can get the uh, downward acceleration rate. And they were like, "Oh no, no, no. I'm look, I'm reading this uh, nih.gov." Um, article right now about the Cavendish and it literally says uh, that the model was given the initial conditions, initial height and velocity from the same balls, other drop and task with predicting the balls height after 2.8 seconds have passed. Like it literally uses the kinematic equation and we has an entire section here talking about how the accuracy is not very good. So, you know, I don't understand how, why this is denied. Like the, the whole point is that you guys pretend that if you go get a Cavendish and do it right, that once you get it set up, set up right, you can do it a thousand times in a row. It's going to always match the predicted gravity value. That is objectively not true. Objectively. So this is where you guys would just admit that that's not true. But that's not an option for you. Right? So it's like, do whatever you can to avoid acknowledging that. The fact that all you guys have is a mass attracting mass Cavendish reification fallacy anyway is a joke. That's all you guys have that allegedly proves gravity. That's all that you have. It's 2023, bro. Maybe Zanuck will save the day. Well, okay. accurately... It's an apparent attraction. It's not really an attraction. We're Wait, Xanax, did you find what department? No, I was listening to you guys. You haven't called yet. Yeah. I had another call. Yeah, I had, that's a problem. I had a guy with a server mode who had an encoder issue. I had to deal with it. Y'all remember Big Swinging Dick said he, oh, I'm going to call him right now. <laughs> well, I need, I need the number. I got to do the server. If you making me the work. If you gave me the number, I had my phone out. I was going to call. You're a fucking I was clown. dialing. Clown and he show. didn't have the number. So I got to do. Clown show. Yeah, I got to. It's not that important to me, so person. I'm going to do it. I'd like to do it because it'd be kind of funny, but it's not a big deal. Don't well, the real problem is that you, you jump in there and you said you knew he actually just talked to a janitor. It's like the stuff that you guys do and say, it's just well, yeah, weird you, you and it's oh, annoying, bro. I, know it's like, I, you know, I went to school. Dude, you didn't go. You, bo you and I both got scholarships to school. You didn't take yours. I did go, and I did Well, study, I did take I did mine. What are you talking about? Well, you said you didn't, you didn't go. So, oh, no, you dropped I, out. I, you know, big deal. Doesn't matter. I, I get, I get it. You got the athletic scholar scholarship, great. But when you're in the physics department, which I don't think you were ever in the physics department, you the people that answer the phone are not the fucking instructors, and they're not sitting around like some some uh, physics lounge smoking cigars, waiting for phone to ring, answer stupid questions. Yeah, this so is the I problem. Know I know tons of people to. currently in university that talk to professors I, I, frequently, I, I and if they five, look, dude, look what you're doing. You're immediately interrupting. So if they all go and ask their professors about it, then they're, none of them are going to say, we, we no, that's not part of our curriculum. But when we show you that, you guys are like, oh, well, that's just one university. Like whatever, so it, the, you'll just keep moving the goalposts. 
How's it a dumb question to call a, a physics department and ask them if they have a, a Cavendish? That's not a dumb question. That's all I've asked. That's a great question. Oh, okay. So it's not a dumb question. No, so you but were the wrong person again. you talked to was aim, unable to answer because they were not knowledgeable. They weren't a physics person. They were just How the lab frick lab. do you know who I've talked to? Because anybody that had ever studied physics, anybody, even high school, knows what the Cavendish experiment is and knows if there is one on, on campus. There's the error chart. So one of them. when I call and reach the secretary in the physics department and she says, I'm not sure, let me ask, and then call back and she says she's asked several people who don't know and definitely don't have one on campus. And then I call my local campus and talk to a, um, a gra um, postgraduate. Because the person that answered the phone wasn't sure, didn't want to direct me in the wrong way, put me in contact with this guy, and he says, what's the Cavendish again? That's that, just my opinion. That's kind of weird. Exactly. I think it's weird, too. And, and for Blue to say that, that LSU, Louisiana State University, has several Cavendish, it's, it's still a little weird that the physics and astronomy department has no clue of any cavities, right? Well, so we'll wait for your call. We'll wait for you I'm, to tell us. So I just posted okay. the phone right. number. So no more excuse about you don't have the number. All right. And here's what's All so funny. Right. Here, here, here I, here's the actual uh, data from some of the experiments done with like very, very precise documentation. Um, not by students, of course. And uh, it shows that when they change the mass, the uh, error actually increases. Now, you guys tell the narrative that it always matches gravity's prediction, and as you change the mass, it, it changes based on that mass prediction of gravity. But the data shows that as they change the mass from a golf ball and a wiffle ball, etc., that the error actually fluctuates greatly. Isn't that interesting? It's almost like the stuff that you guys say is just an anti-flat earth where, narrative made up on that the internet data, that you guys all repeat. Where is that data that shows it? It's that it doesn't follow that. Do you not see the screenshot? No, no. A wiffle ball and a golf ball, and you're and you're talking about. Can you read the paragraph, or are you going to pretend to teach us about something you haven't read well, per well, usual? You're not talking about Cavendish there. You're talking about drop dropping of certain uh, objects, right? Well, it integrates the Cavendish in this. Well, it integrates integrates this gravitational equations, but what what is your claim here? Uh, is this done in a vacuum? Oh, now we have to do it in a vacuum. Well, well, yeah, of course. Why would you not? So blues is wrong. Well, I, I I'm just looking at it the first time. I, I don't want to claim to know anything what you're talking about. I'm just seeing golf ball, football ball. I see height and time, so I'm assuming probably an intelligent assumption. They were talking about drop rates or type of uh, paths of these objects being dropped or hit or something. Hey, did Cavendish do his in a vacuum? Why do nope. you think? No, you don't need to. It's not. It's not. And why do you guys keep invoking his results then? It's not a drop test. And why does everyone you, invoke his results? Why, then? why is a golf ball and a wiffle ball? Why would they have uh, different observed versus modeled uh, drop times? Good, good, good question. Because according to you guys, they shouldn't. No, well, it depends on, is it in a vacuum? Oh, my God, dude. I, I don't know. I don't care. I've already no, changed, not, God can't changed help the you. paper. God can't help you. What, what is the situation? Oh, here? crazy. The University of Oklahoma says that the experimental error is uh, roughly 10%. University of Oklahoma, Cavendish Wait, experiment. Uh, experimental error, 10%. 10 We're talking about, are you, you're, now you're jumping to the wiffle ball. We stay focused no, on no, this is Cavendish. I just dropped a PDF from Oklahoma University about Cavendish. All right, I'm looking at your... Been one of the universities you, I call. You post something, I read the shit you post, so I'm looking at it now. I can't do everything at once. You right should be calling about, the University the of Tennessee. Same initial conditions as before. With the initial You're not heights, supposed to be on BC right now. Negative heights. We cast the models. predicting trajectories. Okay, these are trajectories. Something. Up to 15 seconds. Results are shown in figure observed data 
itself fairly well. However, at six and seven, after the balls are released, a significant degree of separation has started to emerge between the trajectory. The divergence of the model, model four instances, I can see it, is the most abrupt and the most pronounced. The golf ball's model grows with, without bound after seven seconds. Here is that, is here that danger. Are you reading out, out loud? You know you're, you're off mute yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, I thought, we'd, I thought we'd hit something that was revolutionary. Just, Aren't just you supposed to be called? You're never going to call University of Tennessee, are you? I am. I'm going to do it after I do, after I look at this. Interesting. I like the I like trajectory. All right. Well, we'll look at it in your own time. All right. Well, you posted it. You want to talk about it? I didn't want you to post. read it out loud. Well, I thought slowly, well, saying, not knowing like what it is, pretending that as you read it, you're teaching us what you're saying. I'm not teaching. I'm just trying to. You we know, know so why don't you know read it first? Looked at it. What this is actually doing? Oh my god. So why do you think they have a? Why it's easier to predict the path the path of the golf ball? First, the whiffer. What do you think that is? Uh, that's a good question, man. Well, it's not a good question. It's answered in the next sentence. I don't the care. model is so similar. The constant acceleration of the model also suggests that the ball experiences very little drag. The velocity squared term for the model has a coefficient that is erroneously positive and essentially cancels out the speed dampening effects of the drag term. So which one of the infinite forces is responsible for that, Zanuck? Well, we have we have two objects with gro grossly different uh, drag coefficients and also dynamic interactions with the with the medium as it's as it's uh, as it's moving through it. So that would explain these variations. Why don't you just drop these things in a vacuum and see what happens? You'll find that they, thank God we have there's none of these devi there's none of these deviations. Feather, ball, stone, rock. Shot anyone ball, anyone want to bet you never makes the phone call? Here is mainstream article explaining that they thought they had refined the, the number of gravity the strength of gravity and psh, turns out they were wrong what a joke well that's forbes too yeah yeah it's about as mainstream as it gets right scientists admit embarrassingly we don't know how strong the force of gravity is yeah People think they put two balls on some torsion, a torsion balance and they measured the weight of the earth. Like, I mean, what do you do with that? Well, that's, well now they, they crunched a bunch of uh, assumed Not the weight numbers, of the earth. but that's what I was trying to, so I was trying to ask Zanuck, you know, which one of his infinite forces is responsible for this, Zanuck? Well, it's density, but American Physical Society actually uses the word weight. Cavendish weighs the world. June 1798, this month in physics history, advancing physics. So chill out, buddy. You know, the, if you try, even if you try to can, uh, calculate the mass or the weight of the Earth, you, or, or you know, the weight, you'd have to know the mass, and there's no way to know the mass of the Earth, like like how much of it there is, even if in the glow model, right? There'd be no way to know because iron might be heavier than lead, or, or lead might be heavier than iron, or gold might be heavier. You know how much you have. They look at the surface and say, "Oh, well, there's this much on the surface, though. That must mean all of it's made of this." So there's no right way you can calculate. It explains right there that as they've increased the alleged precision of the Cavendish experiment, where they use like lasers and different instruments for the highest precision, um, now their ability to detect gravity has given extremely erratic results, and that oftentimes the readings deviate over tenfold from their expected uncertainties when observed at different times. It's admitted that the experiment is dominated by effects which are not gravity. Right. Things like yeah, but please keep pretending that you know that it's gravity. I do know that. So See, you guys have actual, these, you're, yeah, you have a yeah, religion. So I start talking and you start talking over me. So these tests do, do, do have, have, there is a lot of variability and they're all due to other factors. For example, the centrifugal force of their spinning can be a, is a factor. The uh, the gravitational anomalies of this of the actual object itself, or its de its non density, is a factor. the The Cavendish does, in a sense, measure weight because the weight is a force, and that force of attraction is what they're trying to measure. The where the, where the no, where no the weight is not a force. Weight it, it is a force. Any any physicist no, will say that weight is a. Force. Sorry, dude. Okay, it doesn't work that way. 
It does work you that can, way. You can, do you think a it force of what? A force of what? Here you go with that fucking word game again. You can't just invoke things that don't have. I'm not any invoking. Sort of it is a force. Physical the force makeup, Zanuck. Of what? Of the object. The force of the object on anything near it. So now when objects they... have forces just sitting there waiting. Just so you guys yes. know what they claim to be measuring, when it's the idea up... two one kilogram masses that are one meter apart attract each other with a force equivalent to the weight of a few human cells. Like, wouldn't the uh, spin of the Earth increase the, increase the resistance to acceleration, increase the inertia? Do not pendulums re resist movement? Or not pendulums, uh, gy gyroscopes. Don't they resist movement? Sorry, misspoke. You talked about three or four different concepts. Of course. So spinning doesn't resist movement. It has, a, it has a rotation inertia. And that rotational inertia is different than its uh, translational inertia, which we're not talking about at all. What's happening on the Earth spinning is we have forces on the on objects that are on the surface that want to go in a straight path, that are forced to pick a curved path, which imparts a, a, a force on them called centrifugal force. What's holding them down is something that we don't quite understand called gravity, which gives it weight, and weight is a force. That, that force is an object oh on a scale. That, what, I'll tell, you asked what it was, and I, I was muted, I couldn't tell you. The object acting on that scale is the force of that object acting on the scale, and the scale oh, acting God, on heard the object. You're, you're fucking they're, completely they're insane, together, bro. Forces, forces are in pairs. Forces now, aren't things. Apparent. They're what things do, Zanuck. I don't know how no, many fucking times I got to tell you this. You, you can tell that to me as much as you'd like. It's illogical, it dude. A force of Why what by what, what? You're to just invoking things that you can never substantiate. I can substantiate it. I put an object on a scale. I measure a force. It's a force measuring device. I can put that object in a pool, same object, measure how the force changes because I know the weight of the medium is displaced. And other forces acting in the opposite direction. All these things are measurable. It's a centripetal force acting on that object, pulling it to the ground virtually. <laughs> you laugh people always laugh when they don't understand things they mock what they don't understand you're mocking you don't understand you don't, dude you're confused you don't you don't you have every no logic behind physicist on the, in the world saying. would agree with me you've got no Everyone. logic There's not one the bring you one here you have infinite fucking forces you lost bro That dude's like, this This doesn't say 10%, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, that's not the one I said. It says 10%. I said it's the one from the University of Oklahoma. And it literally does say that. Given the experimental error is 10%. <laughs> you know, it's just funny. Like, now we'll just change the goalpost and whatever. Hey, uh, did you guys see that debate between Matt Taibbi, the other guy, and uh, Malcolm something? It's an interesting little debate. But yeah, they, this is like the tactic from the highest echelons of this political spectrum down to this flat earth shit. That's all they do is argue the point you never made. Yep. Strong. Yeah, they're dead to rights. They just have nothing but this wordplay. Sophistry. It's pretty bad. I'm dropping so much information in the chat about refuting like the consistency of Cavendish. It's like funny. Yo, good shit, man. I love when you come drop your knowledge, bro. You do the you do the work, man. I love it. Yeah, it's, these are like damning. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I love when you come with this onslaught, bro. It's fun to fucking watch. Good good shit, brother. Now I don't want to I don't know if he answered it or said anything or you guys heard what I said, but if the spin of the Earth is occurring and the gyroscopes resist movement, you know, they stay rigid in space. Um, and also, if something is moving, which means it has an acceleration, um, wouldn't that increase the mass of that object? So how would you measure it? 
you just looking for talking points for Zanuck to chime in, or what? What are you doing? Well, I'm just trying to think through the the the, the paradigm. I'm just trying to think through it. So, how would you measure something like like that, or not knowing the uh, the composition? That's all I'm saying. Is this is all? I'm just thinking through what's being said, analyzing maybe, it. Maybe maybe you and know, can go down downstairs and talk about it. Hey, Dicewell, I I went and looked at that fucking redshift blue shift on fucking you know what's his name. Uh, with the dielectric, you know, the fucking, uh, yeah, I know, bro. Yeah. So fucking dope, man. Good fucking good bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, it's, I mean, if, if you look at the fact that redshift and Doppler effect is, is the premise of their, of, of their lunacy and the fact that it could be tested and, and validated right before your very eyes literally slow down to like, I think it's one mile per hour. Um, it, com- it completely refutes their entire argument and destroys their entire paradigm. Hey, can someone explain to me why Globus actually defend the very um, paradigm that was introduced for occultists and Nazis and um, all kinds of, of uh, you know, weird people? 